Hey everybody, Derek here from Addictive Tips, and in this video we will be going over how to set up the Rabbit VCS Git plugin for the Nautilus file manager. So I should say right off the bat, I'm not going to be going over how to get the uh, to get the Git stuff set up and how to connect to your Git account and all of that. I'm not a developer. I'm just going to go over how to install the packages and how to get it going. So anyways guys, the way you do it is you open up a terminal and you can do sudo apt install Rabbit VCS Nautilus. Alright, so now that the package is installed, you can just open up your package, uh, sorry, you can open up your uh, file manager and you can right click and you can see the git stuff is right here. We can click clone if we want to clone a repo. So I'm going to quickly do that. Um, I don't really know what to clone. Hmm going to just go with an, a theme that I like. Uh, I'm not the developer of this theme or anything like that, so it's not like I, I can contribute code or anything, but uh, this is just a demonstration really quick. That's the extent that I can show you because I'm not a developer, like I said, but you click OK and it's going to download and receive all of the objects. And you can also set up stuff like SVN, HG, and all of that. And uh, it's pretty cool. I like if I were a programmer, I would definitely use it. And that's how it works. So that is how to set up Git integration into the Nautilus file manager. Before I go, please understand that Nautilus isn't the only file manager that's supported. You can also get this working in the uh, the file manager for Mate, that desktop environment. And if I'm mistaken, I'm not mistaken, it works in Nemo, but uh, I'm, I don't know for sure. But that's the... Uh, that's the Linux Mint Cinnamon desktop and all that. Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Just a, a quick little guide on how to set up Rabbit VCS and all of that. I will see you guys in the next video.